for us to solve the system of linear equations by graphing. To do this, we graph both linear equations on the same coordinate plane and interpret their results. And we're told to enter the answer as numbers. If the system is inconsistent, meaning has no solutions, we enter D and E into each box. If the system is dependent, meaning it has an infinite number of solutions, we enter the form of solutions into the box. So we want to begin by graphing both equations on the same coordinate plane. Let's first work on graphing the equation negative 2y minus 10x equals negative 14. And there are several ways we can graph this equation. We can make a table of values, determine the intercepts, or let it in sloped intercept form, which is a form y equals mx plus b, where m is a slope and b is the vertical intercept. Let's go ahead and write this in slope intercept form by solving for y. So to solve for y, let's first isolate the y term by adding 10x to both sides, which will give us negative 2y equals positive 10x minus 14. And now to solve for y, we'll divide both sides by negative 2, or divide each term by negative 2. Simplifying, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1. 1 times y is y, so we have y equals 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5, so we have negative 5x. And negative 14 divided by negative 2 is positive 7, so we have plus 7. Now that the equation is in slope intercept form, notice how the slope m is equal to negative 5, which to graph we want as a fraction. Let's go ahead and write this as negative 5 over positive 1. And notice b is equal to positive 7, which means the vertical intercept is the ordered pair 0 comma 7. This is all we need in order to graph the line. We'll first plot the vertical intercept, 0 comma 7. And then because the slope is negative 5 over positive 1, from the vertical intercept we go down 5 units because the vertical change is negative 5, and then right 1 unit because the horizontal change is positive 1. Let's go ahead and do that again. Down 5, right 1. And now let's go ahead and graph the line. This is the graph of the first linear equation. And now let's graph the second equation, which is y equals negative 5x plus 7. Well, notice how this equation is the exact same equation that we just graphed, where the slope is equal to negative 5, or negative 5 over 1, and b is equal to positive 7, meaning the vertical intercept is the ordered pair 0 comma 7, exactly the same as the other line. Which means these two lines are the same line, or they coincide. And because they have an infinite number of points in common, there is an infinite number of solutions. So going back up to our directions, notice how we're told if the system is dependent, meaning it has an infinite number of solutions, we enter the form of solutions into the box. And there are a variety of forms we can use but because we're given this equation here in slope intercept form, y equals negative 5x plus 7, notice how if x is any real number, y must equal negative 5x plus 7 if the ordered pair will give us a point on the line. This is the relationship we need in order to enter the form of solutions into the box. If we let x be any real number, then the y coordinate must be equal to negative 5x plus 7. Again, if we let x be any real number, then this would be an ordered pair that would satisfy both equations and be a point on both lines. I hope you found this helpful.